Thanks a lot, Jan, for uh, having me again. Um, so I'm Jan, co-founder of Ben Energy, and we are um, soon to be revealed. We are ah, an analytics company for the utility market with a focus on residential customers. Currently, we work with 31 utilities in the GSA area, ranging from 20,000 to 2 million residential customers. Why do we do what we do? So what are we aiming for? We see utilities increasingly managing a network of partners in order to maintain successful in a, in a digitalized energy market. And the threat we see there is that utilities need to maintain control over the customer interface and the customer data in order to, um, to be successful. And this is where we help utilities to achieve that. And concrete, what does it mean? What does the software, the analytics software we develop, what does it do? So first of all, um, it helps in three steps. The first one is it cleans and enriches and combines data, meaning data that is already available to the utility, to the market. Um, we bring in additional data, and we combine data to make more sense of it. So there is a customer who continuously reads his email Thursday evenings on a, on a tablet device. There's another customer who reads emails Monday morning on, on 7 a.m. on a mobile device. Um, and there's a customer who, who shops for a specific product in the online shop. There's a customer who has a specific consumption pattern. And this information is rarely connected. So how do I address the customer with the right information at the right time in order to know that I have to make use of the existing data. And in addition to that, we currently bring in roughly 160 additional data points per household. In a second step, we use this data to predict future consumer behavior. Uh, first of all, in terms of um, future customer behavior, uh, correlation and causality. Um, and this is the information we bring to the utility. So there's a correlation between the likelihood of a customer to churn and his type of payment. So a direct debit customer is less likely to churn. But is there also a causality? Meaning, do you reduce a customer's likelihood to churn automatically just by moving him from a, an invoice payment method to a direct debit method? So this is the information we provide to utilities. So, and in a third step, we present this information to employees of the utility, either through a, through a dashboard or through an alert email system, SMS system, and we also push this information to residential customers directly as well. So this is, those are some of our client successes, what we have achieved with our clients, so we have increased the, the number of online customers the utility was managing to, to win. We have massively reduced the cost, the service cost, due to profiling specific customers. And at the same time, we have also managed to increase customer satisfaction. Those are just a few examples of, of what we've done. And the neat part about it is, it is it's not a one-shot thing, so we don't just tell the utility which customer is supposed to buy a PV installation or which customer is interested in e-mobility, in e but it's a, it's a self-learning system. So with every utility interaction, with every customer data point, the system gets smarter, and utilities are able to build up a very powerful um, central brain of customer knowledge in order to become successful as a service provider. Thank you very much.